In this video, I'll share my one-person business marketing strategy. I'll talk about my choice of marketing platforms I'll focus on and I'll share why I chose those platforms specifically. I'll review my organic social media marketing strategy, my email marketing strategy and my marketing strategy with paid ads. First, I'll start with my organic or social media marketing strategy. Many people talk about being on TikTok and using this platform, but TikTok is missing from my list as my main marketing platforms, but I still publish content there. I use many social media marketing platforms for my one person business. I achieved that because I have a very smart way of managing my content, but I chose YouTube as the core platform for my one person business. I chose YouTube because YouTube has the best growth potential in my experience and Vero is the best way to connect and build trust with somebody. See, I live in Bulgaria. I run a social media marketing agency and my clients are mainly from the USA. It would be much easier for people to buy from me if I had content on the internet, so connecting and building trust would be easier with Vito. I rarely go to the USA, so my Vito content aims to introduce me to new people and help me generate leads. I know that many people give the advice. If you are a writer, start a blog. If you are good on camera, start a YouTube channel. Still, I wasn't good at any of these activities when I started out. English is not my native language, so writing and talking in front of the camera was difficult. I made videos because it provided the biggest growing curve. I have to write the script and then record the videos, so I was working on my camera presence. I learned quite a lot, but it was a very painful decision at the beginning. It took me around two days to make a one minute video, but I got better. I also chose to do video because I read a research that says that 80% of the internet traffic will go to watching videos. People just love watching videos. We also see that all the social media platforms are using video based content. My idea with YouTube was to get good on camera with my first 200 videos, but some of the videos got some views. I tried different types of video. After I started publishing long videos on YouTube, I also implemented YouTube Shorts, so I cut my longer videos into shorts. I publish long videos on YouTube and short videos as well. Once the short videos are released on YouTube, my social media manager publishes them on Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook. Honestly, I don't care about TikTok that much, but I already made the content, so why not publish it on TikTok? Also, as a business or a person, I don't spend time on TikTok, so this is just a platform Platform I used to publish. It's the same with LinkedIn. I publish there, but I don't expect anything to happen. However, I'm very careful with my strategy on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. I use Facebook ads to promote some of my offers and target the audience I built there. Instagram and Facebook have their own issues with organic reach. Your posts don't reach that many people organically anymore, maybe because Facebook wants you to pay for the reach. That's the only way Facebook makes money, so it makes sense from a business standpoint. I mainly publish short videos on those platforms, short vertical videos that are under one minute. For all the videos I publish, I ensure they have captions or subtitles because many people who browse social media don't have the sound on their phones enabled. That's why it's very important for me to have captions so people can read and still get the idea of the short video. Adding subtitles to videos sucks, but it improved the video engagement dramatically. Another platform that I have started exploring is Twitter. I wasn't on Twitter all my life, but when Elon Musk took over the platform and allowed free speech, I thought many people would find that appealing, that's why I started my Twitter profile. I also think Twitter is a very good place to network with very smart people. I see that many of those high income individuals, CEOs and big social media influencers use Twitter. Twitter and code email would be the best way 
to reach somebody of high value because Twitter offers a DM feature. Yes, you can directly message people on Twitter. As a user, I receive many emails, but not that many people DM me on Twitter. Maybe that's just me, but Twitter has some nice functionality for networking. Another great thing about Twitter is that the platform favors recency, and this is where I go to brainstorm some content marketing ideas. As I said, I don't live in the USA, but one of my next objectives for my marketing strategy is to start a podcast, a place where I interview people. I think I'll go to Twitter to research for guests. That way I'll network with some people and create content at the same time. There are some very smart people on Twitter, as I said, so I'm quite excited to do this. Those are the social media marketing platforms I intend to use for my content marketing. Next, email marketing. Now, I know that I need to build a list. I haven't created a decent lead magnet yet. All my effort goes into growing my social media presence and building an audience. I have a few ways for people to leave their name and email on my website, but those are not well polished yet. Still, I get some email subscribers, but my goal is to step up my email marketing strategy because if something happens with my social media profiles or ad accounts, I'll still have a way to promote my business. Maybe later this year, I'll build a solid lead magnet funnel or a tripwire funnel that will allow me to grow the list more seriously. Sometimes I find it just hard to dedicate time to list building. I know it's one of the most important things I must do as a one person business as soon as possible. So let's see when I will do this. The next element of my marketing strategy is running Facebook ads. I'm quite good at running Facebook ads and I have some very good offers I'm promoting. Comparing my organic or social media marketing strategy to Facebook ads. With Facebook ads, I get results immediately. I set up the ads today and tomorrow I see the results. To get results, you need to create a funnel. The funnel that produced me the best results took me a while. And for me, this is an application funnel. I run the ads to a VSL page and people can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Facebook ads could be tricky if you don't have experience, but in my opinion, if you want results quickly and want to automate your lead generation and client acquisition, Facebook ads are a great option. I'm also quite good with YouTube ads and I do this for my clients as well, but I like to keep running Facebook ads for my business. If you wanna check some of my funnels, please check the links in the description below. Also, if you want me to run Facebook ads or YouTube ads instead of you again, feel free to check the links in the description below. My name is Nico. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.